Hello, Miss Pneumatic here. A pneumatic solenoid valve is an automatic valve that operates a solenoid and plays the role of controlling the flow and direction of a fluid. Last time, with regard to the classification of solenoid valves, we studied ports as well as the concepts of normally open and normally closed. Today, we want to learn more about other kinds of classifications of solenoid valves. Now, let's start Miss Pneumatic's story on classification of solenoid valves right away. First of all, Solenoid valves can be categorized into types of power. A solenoid is a component where a leading wire is coiled around a long hollow cylinder and a current is sent through the wire to create a magnetic field. Then, when a metal pin is inserted into a solenoid, this metal pin becomes an electromagnet. A solenoid valve uses such magnetism of a solenoid to operate. Here, solenoid valves can be divided into two types. AC solenoid valves that use alternating current and DC solenoid valves that use direct current. An AC solenoid valve typically shows quick valve conversions and generates powerful magnetism. However, it may get burnt. If a current flow is left neglected for a long time, and it can also generate louder noise than a DC solenoid valve. Compared to an AC solenoid valve, a DC solenoid valve is quieter with relatively longer service life. Its operating speed and magnetism may be lower than those of an AC solenoid valve, but there is no major issue in operating a valve. Therefore, in common industrial sites, DC solenoid valves, which are more typically stable, are often used. Solenoid valves can also be divided into direct acting type or pilot type, depending on how the valves operate. First, the direct acting type is literally the one that operates a valve onto its own using the magnetism generated by a solenoid. Let's look at one of KCC's direct acting valves, the KT37A series, to examine briefly how such valve operates. Once current is applied to a solenoid coil, it generates magnetism, which then moves to a component called plunger to operate a valve. In other words, the magnetism of a solenoid coil directly activates a plunger and subsequently operates a valve, which is why we call it a direct acting type. Such direct acting valves are operated directly by the force of solenoid coils. So one of their advantages is that they have fast response speed. Since this type of valve is operated only by the force of a solenoid coil, however, the force of a solenoid coil has to increase as the amount of flow increases, and this may require relatively larger size of valves and the power of consumption than the pilot type. Since the pilot type was explained in the previous video, let me just touch on it briefly. A pilot type valve is operated by the force of a solenoid valve and compressed air. For those of you who are curious about the pilot type, please click the card above and check out the previous video. A pilot type valve is operated by the force of a solenoid valve and compressed air. So, it can make the size of a valve and power consumption relatively smaller, making it suitable operating type for high flow valves. However, since it's not directly operate a valve by magnetism, it may have slower speed than a direct acting type. Solenoid valves and other pneumatic valves can also be divided into poppet type and spool type depending on the structure. A poppet type is a valve that controls a fluid's flow using a rod shaped like a mushroom or an umbrella inside the valve. This rod tightly adheres to a valve seat to maintain hermeticity. A poppet type valve has a structure that is simple and less affected by dust or foreign substances. The characteristics of a poppet type valve are as shown on the screen. Next, in a spool type valve, a spool, which is a cylinder part with grooves, moves along the axis of a valve to operate the valve. Since a spool is used to control the flow path of a valve, it is easy to manufacture valves of complicated forms, and the force applied to a spool is in the state of equilibrium, so the force required for operation is not huge. The characteristics of a spool valve are as shown on the screen. The plunger is a movable core made of a ferromagnetic body. Once current is applied to a solenoid coil and a magnetic field is generated, a plunger moves by this magnetic field to operate a valve. Depending on the type of plunger, solenoid valves can be divided into the T-plunger type and I-plunger type. 
Let's briefly look at the characteristics of each plunger. Deep plunger is a type with large size and power consumption, as well as high pulling force. So, it is able to make the stroke length longer. Eye plunger, or planar plunger, is the type with a small size and is mostly used in small electronic valves. Depending on how an operating solenoid valve is returned to its original state, solenoid valves can also be divided into single-acting and double-acting types. When power is applied to a solenoid valve to operate it, and then power is removed to return it, a single-acting type returns by the force of a spring. A double-acting solenoid valve has coils on both sides of the valve, and the valve is operated by the force of these coils. We looked into the detailed characteristics of single-acting and double-acting solenoid valves in a previous video. So, if you are curious, please click the card above to check out the video. In addition, depending on the number of control positions and connection methods, solenoid valves can also be divided into two-position valves, three-position valves, all-port blocked, pressure center, and exhaust center. If we have a chance later, we will deal with the detailed characteristics of each of these valve types in another video. Today, we have classified solenoid valves by different criteria and also looked into their characteristics. I hope this video helped you understand solenoid valves better. KCC, which collaborates with Miss Pneumatic, is producing a variety of pneumatic solenoid valves. If you are interested in pneumatic solenoid valve, please visit the KCC website as well. Thank you. Ms. Pneumatic's Easy Pneumatic works with KCC, a company specializing in hydroatic and pneumatic manufacturing.